settling into our first match. All right. Sephiroth Pit from the looks of it. Jan the Man versus Chet. All right. Let's open it up. Let's see it. Now, it's been a while since I've seen some tournament play that's got some of these newer faces. What are we looking at matchup-wise here? So, let me, let me tell you. Sephiroth, really strong character. But, you know, you know, Pit's the most balanced character. That, that guy has not changed. So, with Sephiroth, you want to, like, zone out a lot more. And try, just try to keep Pit at bay with your, like, a good mid-range distance. That makes sense. And Sephiroth's got plenty of good tools to keep that mid-range. From the far poke that is forward air to shadow flare. And if this Sephiroth wants to get a little frisky, I could expect some of the uh, the flares to, to do it as well from neutral bay. Yeah. Right. This should be an easy punish, but no punish. Ooh. Surprisingly, just lets him go. I think the Sephiroth wanted to go for some sort of setup for big damage, but I don't know if Pit really gives you that kind of opportunity. Even though Pit's damage output doesn't really swing too heavily one way or the other, as far as like raw numbers or combo game, he is relatively quick. And I feel like Pit just being all over you doesn't really provide a lot of time for those kind of setup that we could expect to see from Sephiroth. Yeah. Oh, I, and now Smash would have done it there, but he's, he sends him across stage, so he gets another Lisa life. And while he's got the one wing, I feel like that's plenty of opportunity for the Sephiroth to turn a reversal, but heading off stage can be kind of dangerous if this pit feels bold. Yeah, no, no definitely. Oh, down, down Smash taking right there. One of the quicker pits faster options from Auto Shield. Yeah. Yeah, four throws should take it right here. Sephiroth, fairly light character, by the way. Um, one of the lighter characters in the game. I'm not sure which number. I was going to say, he's somewhere in the bottom 10 for, uh, for weight. Which yeah, is I, relatively I, I didn't impressive. want to make that count. <laughs> but, one-winged angel definitely plays a big part. You know, DLC character had, had something. And, basically, if he can just... Get this stop and get like a one wing wing. Keep his aim. keep his like wing. He can probably just mount a comeback. I can see it. There's a lot of power there. I feel like one thing I do want to see from uh, from Chet is if he can take advantage of the armor on the uh, the smash attacks while he's got the wing, because Jan does not seem afraid to just get up in there and start putting out smash attacks or even running in with upper arm dash. That can get really dangerous really quickly, especially when those percentages are climbing. Yeah, oh, that does not take it right there. But I do agree with that. Not a lot of people do utilize the armor on um, his... When he does get wing. And a dash tech almost taken right there. Oh, I'm trying to get greedy. Yeah. Another stop going. And when wing comes back a lot earlier, the further, you, further you're down. So you're probably going to see wing around 40% here come back. Yeah, you see it right Swing there. We're looking like a three stock about to happen. It's very likely, given the pressure that uh, Chan the Man is keeping on Chet right now. Yep. It's, it's basically an angel versus a fallen angel, man. Right? Hey, you're not wrong. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's it. Right as the wing came up, too. It just wasn't quick enough. All right, we got a solid three stock from the pit to open up the game. Now, Reggie, do you think Stage had anything to do with that? I feel like Pitt was able to cover PS2 really well. To be honest, it looks like he kind of just got bodied, <laughs> like, too hard. And I don't think Stage played a, much of a factor. I think he just needs a lot more adjustments uh, as a player. Like, he's landing on him too much. He's not doing proper spacing. He's either spacing too far, where Pitt's just able to arrow him, or he's too close where where Sephiroth is, like, buttons don't matter as much, and it's just all in the space. We saw him, like, try to counter or try to nair, and it just, just wasn't working out. Maybe he should do a bit more nairs. I know landing nair is really good with Sephiroth if you want to be in that close quarters, and you're able to combo off it. 
I feel like even Sephiroth's counter would provide some sort of relief in that situation because we yeah. saw a lot of it's dash a attack as a burst option from Pit and a lot of smash attacks. Yeah, Pit, too much startup, but if you, they're going to do something telegraphed as a dash attack or an F smash, like, come on. Sephiroth's counter does like 30 when you're, when the move does like 2%. As a like a counter, it's one of the best counters in the game. And even if you whip the counter, the counter has a hitbox afterwards, so you can probably push them off. Yeah, I feel like it's a decent burst option to use. I mean, not that putting our counters over and over is the best yeah. advice, but it will give a little bit of relief, and then maybe we could see that expected gameplay of keeping that mid range like you brought up. But nonetheless, we're going into game two. Let's see if Chef can adjust anything, or if we're going to see a Swift 2 to open today's stream. Three. Yeah, we, we don't want to see a Swift too well. So, Chet opts for a longer stage. Or, about the same length actually, but shorter shorter side blast zones. I believe it, they're going to kill more off the side. And not trying to die off the side from Pit. I feel like the platforms can offer a bit of more vertical play, which lends itself well. Also, I think that's the first time that I've ever seen Shadow Flare reflected by the Orbitar. It's kind of weird, but... Yeah, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought he was just being crazy. Alright, interesting. There might be more to this matchup than originally expected, because... Once again, Jan is just right up in Chef's face. Putting out plenty of buttons, plenty of damage, although this time Sephiroth's damage outputs making it more of an even game. Yeah, okay. Tried to catch his jump right there. You know, one thing that I'm noticing that's an immediate change from game one to two, a lot of jabbing. It's just the full gentleman's from Sephiroth, but it's making a world of a difference just to keep the pit off of him. Yeah, he's definitely doing it just to, so he gets some sort of respect. And we're also seeing a lot more down tilts. Now, this has an incoming. I know you're able to just dodge a lot of moves. That was probably one of the best spot dodges of Chet's life. <laughs> <laughs> It will go into record books. <laughs> Man, so like you gotta move. He's staying more mobile with this one. I think that's a great way to catch up with Pitt's generally really good mobility. But burst option from the ledge with the upper arm dash. That's gonna be first blood for game two. And the arrow play once again. Yeah. Oh. But this, this is a lot closer than game one right now. So the adjustments are working out. He just needs to find a way to close the stock. Don't get too hasty with it. Oh. Couldn't cover that jump in time. Jump being a really popular option. It makes sense too, but I feel like both of these characters are able to cover that space relatively safely. Uh, especially now with Chef using more neutral air. But has been uh, spacing his corners relatively well. Hey, there's the counter, and it's gonna yeah. kill. Someone listens to our commentary. <laughs> hey, look at that. Maybe we do know what's up sometimes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Allegedly. I I know I do. You? <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> You're questionable at best. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, one way or the other, it's got us to an even game, though the percentage is leaning in favor of Chef, and he's... I gotta admit, the arrows have been working out really nice. Oh, he saved his life. Yeah, he wants an honorable duel. No free stocks in this tournament. Yeah. yeah, it's not doing it just yet. Uh, okay, he managed to get through. I actually love this part of the song. <laughs> this is it's randomly. It sounds like sounded like a what do you call it? A Mario. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the open world ones? Yeah. Okay, good return to ledge from Sephiroth. He keeps on trying to land this down smash, but it, I don't think it has the hitbox that he's looking for. It's very precise of a hit and with Pit, because he has kind of like a smaller body, yeah. when he goes for his up B, he is riding the ledge. Like, he doesn't yeah. really extend himself too much further. And we've only seen Jan 
like go for a super risky recovery once. And if yeah. not for the Sephiroth's forward salt, it would have felt disaster. To be honest, I see a lot of Sephiroth's go for it, but I I've never seen it hit, man. I think, I know Tweak does it for like shield pressure. So if they do neutral get up, it does a lot of shield stun and it will potentially break shield if it's like already semi weak. In the high risk, high reward game, I definitely respect it, but I feel like Chef is too far down to really make that work, especially as these percentages climb. And forward smash at least brings us to an even stock count. He's got to make the most of that one wing. Okay. I'll miss him dropping his combo right there. Yeah, that's it. Yep. All right, quick 2-0 given to us by Jin the Man. I do like the adjustments that were made by the Sephiroth, but they just weren't fast enough. No, they were not. And, yeah, Jin the Man takes it. And that, that was our first game, our first set for tonight. Rather quick one. I am glad to see uh, one of the more newer matchups, because there's been a lot to study while I have been off the mic. But, yeah, um, you, you call him South Earth, the newer matchup. It's already crazy enough. He felt like he's been out for like <laughs> years. <laughs> hey, listen, it's the. Let's see, I haven't been involved with what. I have actually haven't watched a tournament until like last week, maybe. Maybe last week or the week before was the first time I've watched a tournament all year. Yeah. So, so I have been absent of seeing tournaments that have a lot of men men. I have been absent of seeing Steve, oh. and I'm sure people have loved that. Yeah. I have been absent of seeing... Uh, there's not too many Byleth players, admittedly, beyond Pelu Pelu and Leo when he's not playing Pyra and Mithra. And again, Pyra and Mithra, a character who I expect to see... I would hope to see a lot of, if not tonight, just in the future. 